Number eight, we have a variable number equals a variable and a number. So let's get all our variables on one side, our numbers on the other. So basically, I'm going to move this variable over here and then move that number over there. So the reason I'm going to move that variable, because I see 2n and 3n, and 2n is smaller, so I like to move it first. So I'm going to subtract 2n from both sides of the equal sign. This leaves me 1n minus 1 equals that one away, because it moved to the other side, equals 19. Now, I need to move my 1 over. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. N equals 20 for number 8. That will be the value. Let's check out 3 times 20 minus 1. Does that equal 2 times 20 plus the 19? Well, that's 60 minus 1, 59. 40, 59. Yes, I know 100% sure that I'm correct for number 8. Number 9, variable number equals variable number. Well, let's move the variable. I'm going to move the 8 in. So that variable is going to move over there, and then that number will move over there. So I'm going to move the 8 in over by subtracting 8 in from both sides of the equation. I get 2n plus 6 equals 14. I now move my number over to be with the other number. That leaves my variable by itself on the left and gives me the number 8 on the right. I now divide both sides by 2. And n is 4 for number 9. Number 10, variable minus the number equals variable plus the number. 11n, 8n. Who am I going to move first? I'm going to move the 8n. So I'm going to subtract 8n from both sides of the equation. That gives me 3n minus 10 equals, that goes away, 0 plus 11 is 11. I now move my number over to both sides. I get 3n is equal to 21. How do I undo multiplying by 3? We divide by 3, and n is equal to 7. Number 11. Again, variable, number, variable, number. Get all your variables to one side, all your numbers to the other. I'm going to start by taking n, a single 1n away. That gives me 3n minus 20 equals negative 8. Don't forget you got to pay attention to what's in front of the number to determine whether it's a positive or negative number. In this case, that's a negative 8. Now I'm going to move the negative 20 over to the other side. I'm going to get rid of that by adding 20 to both sides. That gets rid of it here on the left, leaving with just the variable 3n. That gives you 12, positive 12 on the right. And now I'm going to undo multiplying by 3 by dividing by 3. And I get n is equal to 4 for number 11. We'll do one more. Number 12. We're going to have to do some distributing through. So I'm going to distribute the 3 through to both pieces and on that side also. That's going to give me 24n plus 33 equals 15n plus 24. Now at this point, I'm going to get all variables on one side, all numbers on the other. I see 24n and 15n. I'm going to move the 15n. So I'm going to subtract 15n from both sides of the equal sign. That gives me, let's see, 24 minus 15 is 9n plus 33 equals, that goes away, 24. And now I'm going to move my 33 over to be on the other side. That way I'll have all numbers on one side and variables on the other. Subtract 33. That'll leave this variable by itself on that side. And over here we get negative 9. Now how do I get rid of multiplying by 9? Divide by 9. And we get n's value being negative 1 in this problem. Please note, if somebody that is advanced is looking at this, they could have done it a little differently and a little faster, but we're just learning how to do this. So that's the method we're doing right here for number 12.